Hey guys, welcome back. I'm super excited because today we're going to be going over all of the stuff in the box for the Canine Breeding Innovations Deluxe Pro Whelping Kit. I just unpacked the box and I wanted to show you what was all included. So as you can see, it's quite a bit of stuff in one box. So I'll start off with the paperwork that was included in the folder. Um, most of it's pretty self-explanatory, but I'll just give you a brief overview. Um, so the very first thing here is just a list of contact, contents of everything that should be in the box. So you just want to look it over really quick, make sure you're not missing anything from your kit. Uh, the next two sheets here are the predict whelp temperature chart for the mom. Um, so there's one prior to delivery and one post delivery. Um, the prior to delivery sheet is basically uh, for seven days before she's due, you want to check her temperature morning and night just to see um, where it's at to help you decipher when she might be going into labor. This, the second one here is after she has the pups and you just track it for seven days as well, morning and night. And do you want to make sure that she's not showing any signs of infection, like a high temperature or discharge? Basically, make sure she's healing properly. And if you notice anything, there's a spot for notes so you can go over it with your vet. Uh, this is handy as well. This is the emergency contact sheet. You can have this close um, when the process is about to begin. Um, you're going to have a spot on here for your vet, um, any animal emergency clinic, your breeder, neighbors, friends, basically anybody that would be willing to help you out if you had any issues or questions about the litter. Uh, next is the uh, litter birth record and this is basically just a good way to keep track of each pup um, when they're born their time of birth if what their markings were if they were male or female how much they weighed if there's any notes that you want to write down about that pup when they were born and then a puppy weight chart so that's just what it says it's gonna give you uh, a, a list of all their weights for the first seven days to keep track of that. Uh, next is these uh, disposable absorbent delivery pads. Basically, you can put this over the bedding um, and make sure that you keep that clean and dry um, while the mom is giving birth. And then the cotton disposable receiving cloths. These are good if you're assisting the mother and delivering the pups. Um, you basically use these to handle the pups. So you would catch the pup in one and then if someone was helping you, they would also have one and you would hand them over to the person helping you if you had someone helping you. And you would both kind of use them to just rub the puppy down with. And there are several I believe 12 of each of the delivery uh, pads and the receiving cloths. Next here are the whelping gloves and it's very important to have sterile gloves on hand to avoid any cross contamination. You should always use them when you're handling the pups just to make sure that your hands are super clean and sterile. A stethoscope here just to um, check the heart rate if you need to of the mom or the pups make sure their heart is beating strong and clear and the same with the mom a little syringe here in case they have any fluid or mucus from the birth process you want to clean out their nose and mouth with this right away uh, then we have here, uh, this is basically the clamps and sterile alcohol prep pads, iodine. This is um, if you need to clip the umbilical cord, it gets a whole kit to do that properly. 
and they also give you some dental gloss if you need to tie off uh, that umbilical cord as well. Uh, this is just a digital thermometer. That's pretty self-explanatory. This will help you take the pup's temperature as well as the mom. And they also give you a, a stuck puppy pack. And this is if you're having any issues delivering the pups or it's been too long since the mom had a pup. She might need some help getting it out in case they're breech um, or there's any uh, issues basically she can't get it out on her own you might have to assist her so in that kit uh, there's some lube some PVC tubing some syringes another suction bulb uh, some more um, gloves and uh, welping pads basically it's a mini kit of what we already have here. I haven't opened that up yet. I'm hoping I won't need to. Um, but it, it basically also includes instructions on what to do if a puppy is breech or stuck to help you kind of try to do it on your own uh, if you don't have time to reach a vet. And then they also included a milk replacement and a canine nursing kit and this is another part of the kit. Um, basically, if the pup is too weak to feed on its own and you have to feed the puppy yourself, or uh, if the mom is not producing enough milk right away, this is just a good thing to have on hand here uh, so that you can still make sure the puppies are getting fed. Um, there's also a little cleaning kit and some extra nipples in here as well. And then they included this uh, set of <laughs> little collars, ID collars of all different colors, um, just to keep track of the pups because sometimes some of them look really similar and it'll give you a quick reference of, of who's who basically. Thought that was cute. And then there's a few other things that weren't included in the kit that I did want to mention that it might be a good idea to have on hand. Um, you might want to have uh, some paper towels, make sure they're white with no designs on them, uh, some hand sanitizer, a clock or easy to read watch to make sure that you're keeping track of the time between the birth of each of the pups. Uh, a heat source, we do have a heat lamp. I don't have that on the table right now, but we do have that with our whelping box, and that will be a separate video all about that setup when we do it. And then a camera to, to take pictures of your puppies. And snacks, pillows, some reading material, because it might take a while and you might be there and you want to make sure that you have everything you need to stay comfortable while you're there watching over the mama. And then uh, another thing you might want to have on hand is a few things for the mom to keep up her strength. Um, sometimes they suggest cottage cheese, plain yogurt, vanilla ice cream, um, beef broth uh, or beef liver. Uh, just to give the mom a little added energy. A uh, full tank of gas is always a great idea in case you have to rush to the vet or the emergency clinic. And make sure that you always have your phone on hand um, with you to make those calls as well. There are a couple other things that I wanted to show you that didn't come in the kit, but I think are a good idea to have. Um, this is kind of included in the setup that we'll be doing a separate video on, but I just wanted to show you. Um, this is an air sanitizer. It'll help keep the air clean and fresh for the pups when they're born. Any, it'll keep any of the bad stuff out of the air so they have fresh air to breathe. And then also, um, it's a good idea to have a camera to watch them at all times. So you can hook up one of these to your phone and you can have kind of like a baby monitor, so to speak, at all times if you need to leave the room so you can still keep an eye on mom and the pups. 
Okay, so that was everything that was in the box and a couple added extras. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and we'll see you next time when we go over our setup for our wealthing area. Thanks and have a great day. Bye.